Hello, and a happy St. Valentine's Day to you all. I'm Eric Fell, and tonight I'm going to be reading selected passages of 1001 Ways to be Romantic by Gregory J.P. Godek. Number eight, overdo something. Does he love M&Ms? Buy him 50 pounds. Number 31. Go out this weekend and spend $50 on greeting cards. Don't ask questions. Just do it. Head for your nearest card shop and spend a solid hour reading hundreds of cards. Read all the Far Side cards. Scan all the Peanuts cards. Find the sexy cards. Get several birthday cards. Number 53. Make your own greeting cards. Store-bought cards are fine. I have a drawer full of them. But homemade cards are extra special. You don't have to be artistic, just heartfelt. Remember, she's with you not because you're Picasso, but because you're you. Unless, of course, you are Picasso. In which case, she's with you because you're Picasso. Number 161. Send her a birthday card every day for a month. Number 170. Send him one birthday card for each year of his age. One a day for as long as it takes. Number 181. Mail him a Valentine's Day card. Mail him 20! Make your own card. Make a huge card. Send a musical greeting card. Number 187. Use kids' valentines. Mail a box full of them. Fill his briefcase full of them. Tape them all over his car. Fill the sink with them. Fill her pillow with them. Number 981, musical greeting cards. Yes, open one up and it plays an electronic tune for you. Look in fine car... This is a repeat. There are not 1,001 ways to be romantic. There are merely 1,000. Number 399. This is something I think we can all agree on. Love is framing a favorite greeting card she's given to you. Thank you so much for indulging me on this St. Valentine's Day. I hope you're prepared for today. I know I am. I know I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's a pun. <sighs>